Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Maze. Uh, Maze is a solitaire card game and it's different from your conventional solitaire card game. Um, and so, in terms of playing Maze, you'll need a standard 52 card deck. And all 52 cards are shuffled and laid out in a 6x9 grid, right? So, um, you'll have uh, 6 rows and 9 columns. What you'll do after laying out all of the cards is remove all of the kings uh, to create gaps. And so, what you'll need to do is you'll need to remove your kings, right? And so that's why we have one, two, three, four, five, six gaps here, right? Um, and that is simply because um, a nine by six is 54 spaces. And so we only have 52 cards. So we'll start off with two gaps, right? Because we'll have 54 spaces and only 52 cards. So we start off with two gaps originally, and then we remove our four kings to create six gaps here. So that's in terms of how to set up the game. The objective of the game is to arrange 48 cards in four suit sequences from ace to queen. To win, uh, gaps uh, do not obstruct the sequence, and so you'll sort of see what I mean uh, when we start playing. Uh, but just to go over a few more rules, um, a gap can be filled by a card which is of the same rank, same suit as the card on the left and one rank higher, or the same suit as the card on the right and one rank lower. And so, if there's a gap, it essentially must be in sequence with the cards around it. Uh, the gap to the right of a queen can be filled with any ace. This is because we have removed all the kings, so normally we follow the rank, but we've removed the kings, so we'll fill the ga gaps to the right of the queen with an ace. Gap to the left of the ace cannot be filled because the ace is the lowest card in the ranking of cards. And so, right, you essentially fill gaps based on the cards around them. And so... Notice that all the cells in the grid are counted as one row. And so the cells in the grid run from left to right and from top to bottom. Okay, and so why is this a, a point of contention here? Um, because the last card in the grid, right, and so that would be the card in the sixth row, can be connected to the first card in the grid in the first row to complete a sequence. So. What does that mean? Um, just in terms of, I guess, the rules for maze, or the important ones, uh, you fill a gap by filling a card in the same suit and matching the... Or filling a card of the same suit in sequence with the ranks around it. The gap to the right of the queen can be filled with any ace. The gap to the left of an ace um, cannot be filled. In this case, we have cards to the left of the ace because that's how they were dealt. But if we were to remove these cards, we could not place them back there again. All the cells, essentially, in terms of just, uh, knowing simple, concise rules, the last card in the sixth row can be connected in the to the first card in the first row to complete a sequence. So if we add a three of dime if we had a five of five of hearts here we could place a four of hearts here and it would count as a sequence so those are your three rules you have to fill the gaps according to the cards around them to the right of the queen you fill it with an ace to the left of an ace you cannot fill it and the last card in the bottom right corner can be used in a sequence with the card in the top left corner Okay, so we have to arrange our 48 cards in the sequences of the four suits from ace to queen to win. The gaps do not matter in the sequence, okay? And so note that rows are a continuation, okay? So we, we, don't, we only have nine spaces here, and we have more than nine cards in each suit. And so let's say we had a seven of hearts here. This eight of hearts would complete the sequence afterwards. So left to right. Then we go to the next row, left to right. We go to the next row, left to right. Reading it horizontally from the left to the right. 
So, uh, without further ado, uh, after explaining the somewhat, uh, I guess, the different rules, let us sort of play the game. So, we'll just move cards for the sake of moving them, although I do not recommend playing this way. I'm going to get my Ace of Clubs all the way at the start. I mean, sorry, I cannot do that, right? You can only move it based on the uh, cards around. And so, notice how I can move this ace here, uh, because the two of clubs is right after it. You can only move a card in a spot if there are cards around it. So, I can't move that three, can't move that ten, right? I can move that queen after that jack. That's what we'll do. I And so, you can sort of continue playing like this, right? Um, doing your best, right? There's a two right after this ace, so I can move the ace right there. Uh, there is a three, right? The bottom right and the top left connect. The three of spades can be moved right after the two of spades, and so we can simply continue playing like so. Right? We have a lot of cards that. Uh, sort of, let's find the jack of diamonds. We'll place it there. Find the queen of diamonds. We'll place it there. Where's the ace of diamonds? We'll place it after the queen, right? So you sort of make a sequence horizontally like so. Um, and so this is just sort of demonstrating how to play in terms of what you'll do. So we'll keep this up a bit more, but then we'll actually play another round playing with proper strategy, right? Because right now we're sort of just um, placing cards just to show that they fit, right? So this... I'm actually unsure of why this is... This should not be a permissible move, right? Because we would need an ace of clubs to go after that queen. Uh, not an ace of hearts. Yep. Yeah. So that dismissed that move there. Um, that's not uh, really what we should do, right? And just so note that the rules for moving cards is that you can fill a gap if it is one rank higher than the suit and the same suit as the card on the left or one rank lower and the same suit as the card on the right so here this ace of clubs is one rank higher and of the same suit as this queen of clubs to its left so we can place the ace of clubs to the queen of clubs right if we had a four of spades the four of spades would be one rank lower and of the same suit as the five of spades and so we could place it to the five of spades left so notice how we'd also be able to place the four of spades to the five of spades left. So that's sort of up to you. Uh, you can decide which move you believe is more beneficial. What we'll do is we'll sort of restart trying to play with more strategy now. I feel like um, I've given a pretty good explanation of the rules. And so once again, right, notice how we're arranging the kings and placing them. We're going to have our two gaps regardless. And then we remove our four kings for a total of six gaps in the maze. So, what should we do? Um, ideally, you want to sort of... Nothing can be placed to the left of an ace, right? Um, and so that's why we cannot make that move there. I want to move this jack of, uh, jack of hearts here. Um, and so... What I'll have to do is, I'll have to locate the Ten of Hearts. To move the Ten of Hearts, I'll have to move the Ten of Clubs. To move the Ten of Clubs, I'll have to move the Eight of Spades or the Six of Diamonds. To move the Six of Diamonds, I'll have to move the Six of Hearts or the Nine. And so as you can see, you can plan ahead, right? But it does get pretty tedious, which is why I'm not doing it. Uh, because you have to plan ahead a lot. But... Uh, in terms of playing the game, that's pretty much it. What we'll do is we'll, I guess, sort of sum it up one more time, right? In Maze, all 52 cards are sh are shuffled and laid out in a 6x9 grid. Um, and so, note that the kings are removed to create gaps, okay? Uh, and so you're simply going to deal out the cards as you normally would. You're going to have two gaps originally, and then you'll remove the kings to create more, uh, four more gaps for a total of six gaps. Uh, the rules for uh, removing cards are as follows. Or sorry, moving cards are as follows. Um, a gap can be filled by a card which is of the same suit 
and one higher than the card on its left, or of the same suit and one lower than the card on its right. Um, rows are red left to right, and from and then you go to the next row, right? So left to right, and the next row. So this spot is to the left of this card here, right? This spot would be to the left of this card, to be to the right of this card. Um, and the card at the bottom right is to the left of the card in the top left. So the card in the bottom right is to the left of the card in the top left and can be used in a sequence accordingly. Uh, the gap to the right of the queen is going to be filled with an ace. This is because all of the kings have been removed. If you have a gap to the left of an ace, nothing is one rank lower than the ace, so we would not be able to fill that gap with any card. The objective of the game, right, would be to arrange 48 cards in the four suit sequences from ace to queen to win. If you have a gap, and so let's say um, I had a gap, right, it would not obstruct my sequence. So for whatever reason, right, let's say I had an ace of hearts here, and then I had the two of hearts here, right, with this gap in between. That still counts as in sequence, right? It's the nearest card um, to your, I guess, I, the card nearest to you, not counting any gaps. And if that card is in sequence, it counts as a sequence. So let's say I had my two of hearts here and my queen of hearts here with two gaps on both sides. That would still be in sequence because the card immediately, the closest card to my left would be in sequence and the closest card to my right would be in sequence. So that wraps up how to play Maze. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.